Hello everyone, welcome to our tutorial again and this tutorial we are going to cover a very important topic in our Node.js is FS module, file system module. So let's try to understand what is file system module. Okay, so suppose uh, you have writing a Node.js program and, I, and a server I am requesting for a file which is present inside of the project only. Uh, and some JSON content you have or some file I want to download on or I want to upload a file. So all those functionality, some functionality if you want to achieve, you can achieve through FS module or file system module. So Node.js program should talk to FS which is file system module and file system module is going to talk to file system file system maybe uh, any dot txt file uh, maybe it any other file xml file anything which will uh, locally present and if you want to write anything suppose i am uh, sending some content i want to write some content in a text file or another file i can achieve through fs module so there are list of functions available in fs module there are like read file if you want to read a file read file sync uh, write file write file sync rename unlink stat and read directory so there are various files files uh, functions are available for reading writing and renaming unlinking deleting all those functionalities are available let's learn line one by one we start with the read file so let's go back to a visual studio code and create a file okay already i created read file read.js so first step we need to use fs module so we have learned uh, module so what is module fs mo as a module file system module so we are using required keyword so through required keyword we are we are importing fs module and assigning a variable fs so the, assigning to a variable fs so you can uh, use any other name uh, but it's good practice to write a same name as a your file system name now i want to utilize the first file uh, file uh, function that is read file so what is read file read file is used to reading a file so suppose we have a file hello.txt so hello.txt is pre present in my root directory so hello.txt is a file and it has a content hello how are you so now var fs require fs module we have i have imported that uh, uh, fs module and next step i am reading the file fs dot read file so now hello.txt now if i want to run this file go to integrated terminal and run node read dot gs okay now see you are getting some error type type error callback must be a function so there is a concept we have which i have taught in our last tutorial that is callback so that callback is required here so what is callback Again, let's do a one round of review. What is callback? So, let's take a person name. delete and there is another another person here ram so dilip providing some work to ram and dilip assigning some work to ram and told ram to please execute this task and whenever you have done with that task please notify with to me with the help of callbacks 
So whenever Ram is done with his work, it's executing a callback, a method and notifying Dilip, I am done with my end and you can do your task. So Dilip is ready with your their steps and and taking the RAM's output as an input to uh, uh, going forward. So this is called as a callback. So always you should write a callback whenever you are dealing with a file system module. So write here reading file. So this is the method. function reading file and here we should pass two augment first one is error and second one is data so the error suppose go back now Dilip is assigned work to Ram but some reason Ram is unable to process the data or some, some failure. So he should return a error to Dilip and if Ram is done so he should provide, provide the data. So second, second parameters is if, if Ram is done then it should provide data and otherwise error. So if it is failure then error it should, should throw, throwing some error otherwise error should be null and same case if it is done so it should provide data otherwise data should be null. So the name you can make anything here then left side and right side but the, the sequence is fixed so left side is your error and right side you should be your data. Now, if you run this program again, console, okay, console.log, save it, go back. And okay, we have not saved. Control C, clear. Now we are getting some data, no such a file and directory. So let's check hello.txt is present or not. So this is hello.txt, and we have written here hello.txt. So that's why it's not getting that value. So that's why it's returning error. So let's save it and run it again now. Clear. Now see here. First I have, I have run this application and an error I am getting null it means we are have done we are running properly and we are getting the data. So we are getting the data in the, in the form of buffer ok but I want to print in the form of text format. So I should pass a second parameter here that is UTF-8 unified text format. So now first one is we are getting null and second I am getting data. So now that is why I, I got the result. So, so if I am changing the content here,
and if I am running the application again, now I am getting hello, how are you and bye bye. So that's how I can call a Node.js file system, read file and getting the data. Now one more important thing, suppose I am writing a statement here, console dot log hi done okay let's write done now what do you think this statement should be executed first uh, after this one or it should execute after the file system is reading so the answer is this statement is executing after just a file system is calling the read file why because Node.js programs are asynchronous in nature. So now we have called this method, but this callback mechanism is reading the file. So now suppose it takes two minutes to reading the file. Till that time, this file, this system is not waiting idly and it process and is doing his work. Take an example of Dilip and Ram. So now Dilip has requested Ram for some some function or some content and Ram is doing that thing but it taking few minutes for 4 or 5 minutes it, it doesn't mean Dilip is sitting idle Dilip can take uh, another work and he can do his another task so this is called as a asynchronous in nature so let's run it this program again now see we are getting done first because of till that time it's reading the file this is executed of just after reading a file so now i i think you guys should understand everything uh, in a file system and now i hope you got the point thanks for watching this video and i am continuing to giving the whole modules in a file system all the methods thanks for watching bye